Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Java Island and in this video I would like to show you the largest Buddhist temple in the world, which is called Borobudur. Let's check it out. The temple is actually pretty old. It was built back in 8th or 9th century, so it's about 1200 years. But it was discovered back in 19th century because, well, for many many years it was basically buried underground and they had to literally dig the whole place. But now it's fully open and you can see it, you can visit it, and it's amazing place to be honest guys i'm like looking at this place right now and it's just magical wow beautiful spot barabudur what is this place i think first time i've heard about this place uh, in one of those uh, graham hancock's interviews graham hancock he's a british uh, writer and explorer and he usually writes about ancient worlds ancient civilizations lost worlds you know history and um, not everybody agrees with him i mean obviously you know every single author has its own concept has its own theory but um, what i like about him is that he actually visits all these places and he puts on the map all these really rare but very interesting locations and Barabadur is one of those locations which I always wanted to visit just because I heard about this place in, in his interviews and he mentioned this place several times and um, he actually visited this place back in 2013 and he said that the place is truly cosmic and that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. I wanted to feel the energy of this place. I wanted to feel that cosmic energy of Barabudur. Barabudur is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. And it was built back in the 9th century, uh, during the reign of Salindra dynasty. But to be honest, um, the tour guide told me that they don't even know for sure who built this place. I mean, yes, the temple design follows Javanese Buddhist architecture, which actually kind of blends with the Indonesian indigenous tradition of, you know, ancestor worship and, uh, you know, the whole Buddhist concept of attaining nirvana. And, uh, well, the temple itself demonstrates the influence of Gupta art that reflects basically Indians' influence uh, on this particular region back in the days. And,. Um, well, according to the stones, they they saying that yes, most likely the place was constructed sometime in 9th century. But some people saying that they probably started the construction back in 8th century because it probably took them about, you know, 100 years to build this whole place. And um, that's, that's all they know. But uh, suddenly uh, the place getting abandoned uh, around 14th century when basically the decline of Hindu kingdoms in Java Island happening and then uh, Javanese people they you know switch in religion to Islam and uh, yeah you know since then this place became unknown to the world and what basically you know it, it this place was basically buried underground and worldwide knowledge of its existence was sparked back in 1814 by Sir Thomas Stanford Raffles. Um, I believe he was a British ruler of uh, Java Island who was advised to its location by native Indonesians. 
and uh, since then Borobudur been you know kind of preserved through several restorations the largest restoration happened here uh, back in 1975 and back in 1982 uh, the, both restorations were sponsored by Indonesian government and the UNESCO As I told you guys, this particular place is about 1200 years old and it's an incredible piece of history. It's, it is, I believe, actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so yeah, it's, you know, very important piece of history, also very important piece for Buddhist religion, you know, so yeah, it's... Uh, something special you know being here is truly something magnificent and amazing it just wow I'm just I don't know honestly I'm just speechless right now because the beauty of this place wow it's just something something very very special and you feel like really really interesting being here like the energy of this place is just like I mean, I don't know, like tremendously positive, you know, for some reason. I know, beautiful place, beautiful place. Well, according to the official count, they have 504 different statues of Buddha here, so... And all these Buddha statues basically arranged on different levels of this temple. Uh, the very first balustrade have about uh, 104 Buddhas. The second balustrade also got 104 Buddhas. The third 88, uh, the fourth 72, the fifth 64, which makes it a total of 432 Buddhas and um, the upper level basically the buddhas uh, which placed inside stupas uh, they also have uh, several levels of those uh, the first level it's like about 32 stupas the second level 24 the third 16 and the very uh, total of those buddhas is 72 which makes it you know the total number of buddhas on top of this temple is 504 Actually, ladies and gentlemen, around me, all these interesting structures are called stupas. And inside of these stupas, they have statues of Buddhas as well. And right now, I will show you how it looks like, because they have one open stupa, where you can see a statue of Buddha. Let's check it out. And I'll try to, you know, to take a peek inside an actual stupa and show you the statue right inside. Let's see.
Well, and the largest stupa actually means nirvana or the highest level of enlightenment, you know, the highest level of, you know, being up there in heavens, I would say. Well, in my interpretation, sorry about my, you know, very freely interpretation of all this stuff, but that's just how it is. So visiting Borobudur, it's like visiting very old, pretty much ancient history. I mean, think about it, 9th century and 21st century. It's a lot of years apart. And somewhere in between, this particular place were basically buried on the ground. And, uh, you know, they, they forgot about this place. And they only recently, only recently, and the fully restored it, you know, even though it's not really fully restored, it's still missing some parts, but I mean, you know, what you see right now, it's a very huge work done. It's a very huge preservation project done, and it's amazing. But what's most interesting about this place is the energy of this place, the amount of positive and very calming energy you're receiving at this place. And to be honest, guys, I don't know how to explain you this. You just, you just gotta be there. You just gotta feel it. If you truly believe in something, if you're truly looking for something, if you're truly uh, trying to reach, you know, different levels in life, let's say, well, this place is truly amazing and it's worth of visiting, that's for sure. That's why, um, you know, I went to Central Java. I came to this place and I was amazed. I was amazed and... Hey, I only can recommend you to come and visit because other than that, I can only show you this video. I can show you what I filmed there. Not for nothing, guys. There is something special out there, something really magnificent out there, and you can feel it. You can feel it, and if if you if if you're into that stuff, hey, this is one of those places which you should come and visit. If you're not into that stuff, well, maybe maybe you're gonna be because hey, we always learn about something new in our life. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is it for today. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video from Borobudur, Indonesia. Please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later, guys. Have a nice one. Bye bye. Oh no